morning everybody thanks for tuning in to conquer the hosses i was debating on even filming our project today i hate making other professions look bad but there was a mistake on this one it should have been compacted uh, the reason i'm filming today is that i, I want to focus on how important rebar is in a floor so i'm going to head inside and show you what we got going on the uh, sub base sunk underneath our garage floor and not just a little bit I'll bet you there's a 15 inch gap underneath this garage floor the garage floor never moved never cracked but what had happened was the sub base sunk so much it cracked the plumbing and that's how they discovered that there was an issue going on so they cut a hole in the concrete removed a little bit made the plumbing repair and then called me and, and brought me up to speed with what's going on so i came over and looked at it so the best thing i can come up with is we're going to remove two pads in the garage we're going to compact all the material as best we can add some material force it underneath the existing concrete and try and get it stabilized uh, so not gonna say where we're at or who it is or anything like that what my focus is on how important rebar is in, in these kind of projects so come on inside let's get started so we got the plastic hung all around the garage here's the hole I was telling you about it sunk about 14 inches on this over dig crack that pipe so we fix the pipe and you can see just how much it's settled all the way back there so I put these two Porta power jacks one there and one there so that's going to hold this concrete from bouncing while we saw cut and jackhammer I don't want cracks going into the good concrete that we don't want to take out so that's why I did that I just wanted to show you all of our rebar are holding this concrete up there's not a crack in this floor anywhere that's why you have to use rebar when pouring these new garage floors it's a must Okay, now that we're all done with demo, you can see right here where the plumbing was is where it sunk the worst, about 14 inches. Out here next to the floor drain and underneath this, this section, sunk maybe two or three inches. Not a whole lot, but nevertheless, 
we're gonna compact some stone underneath there and then we're gonna leave a lip of new concrete going underneath there so this floor is setting on our new concrete uh, we have our rebar we drilled holes to get them up a little bit higher all the way around there we have holes drilled we're gonna do a real good tie-in as well as good compaction underneath there so we're gonna use my air ditch tamper pneumatic ditch tamper and really force it underneath there So I forced the limestone under there pretty good. It's back there. I bet you I got it back in there a good two feet to 30 inches. And there wasn't much of a gap over here. There's no gap over here. About right here, I started compacting and got it in there really nice. I'm happy with that. Here, <coughs> excuse me, I left a nice big trench here I, I forced it in there pretty far and then i left this trench here so new concrete's going to go underneath the old concrete and make a make like a tray to sit on so that should hold that real nice we're all pinned together real good tied into the wall i'll just get some 10 footers to connect and then some 20s to run long ways and i think we're about ready to pour So there it is, our rebar all in place. The floor held good the first time, so I didn't want to skimp at all on rebar. Uh, every two foot, by every foot and a half this way, pinned in on the ledge, 
road in everywhere. And here comes the concrete. it under that lip real good. Yeah, we're cleaning that. That's no problem. Okay, let me get my boots on. Okay, so there it is. The pour went super easy, just a little bit slow. Concrete's in, drying. It, it's it's about seven degrees outside, maybe 10 now, sun's up. Uh, concrete was really cold when it got here, so we have a heater going on in this garage. It's nice and warm. It's not gonna take long for this to set up, but what I want everybody to take away from this video is how important rebar is. Uh, when you're doing these kind of projects. You know, if, if we weren't tied into that back wall, everything would have settled, cracked, and had a big mess, and then it's on me. This way, our concrete stayed in place. None of that is our responsibility, and it makes us look good, too, because our concrete never moved. So if you're doing these projects, patios, steps, sidewalks, we put rewire in everything, and my suggestion is you guys should too. So we have first pass all done. Nice and warm in here now. It's about 70 degrees in here. That heater heats this up in seconds. We're just putting the finish on there, reaching in, and I only have to go down this little bit of wall right around and finish that. Shouldn't take too long. Notice how slow and flat he moves that trowel. Cleaning up around the floor drains. We took the plastic down and just wiped the debris off of the baseboard. Little bit stuck to it. I don't even know if that's from us. It won't come off. 
So they may have to touch that up with some paint, but the baseboard never moved. We were able to get that concrete out from underneath it real nice. So. So there it is, all complete. Now in about 28 days, they'll come in and do the same decorative topping on here. It'll all be done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. We'll keep you out of a uh, problem down the road. As always, thanks for tuning in to Conquer with the Hosses. Give us a like, hit that subscribe, tell all your friends. Let's keep this channel growing. Have a good day.